Hey guys, Adam Payne Show with the SIG Sour Academy. What I've got right here, the SIG MCX Virtus. This is not just another AR-15. In fact, this is not an AR-15. This is the perfect rifle. Our engineers have been working a long time with operators throughout the land to develop the perfect rifle, and here it is right here, the SIG MCX Virtus. Specifically, this one is the MCX Virtus Patrol, and this is a 16-inch gun available in 5.56 or 300 blackout. A lot of special features on this gun that I want to get to, a lot of talking points. Let's start right back here on the tail end of the gun. How about that right there? While this gun is fully functional with the side folded stock folded up, that is very unique. So there's obviously no buffer tube on the back of this gun, fully operational like this. In fact, with it closed up, I still have complete use of all my controls. And not only is it a side folder, but it is also a five position stock. So you can adjust your length of pull. So that is really cool. Going to come with a Lancer smoke magazine and it is somewhat transparent so you can see how many rounds you have in that magazine. Nice feature. Let's move up the gun a little bit. Right here, ambidextrous charging handle. That's our charging handle. A little gas buster design right there. Feels real nice. Nice smooth operation of that charging handle. I want to kind of fast forward to my favorite part and what I appreciate on any nice gun and that's going to be the trigger. This trigger right here. Wow, I'll tell you what, nice slick trigger. Feels really, really nice. That trigger right there, that is our proprietary design. That is our match light duo trigger. So a light trigger, nice finish on it, make it real smooth and duo. Obviously that means it's a two stage trigger. What a dream to shoot this gun with that trigger. I'm looking right here and I see multi-cal. Why multi-cal? Because the SIG MCX is a complete versatile system and you user can actually swap out calibers from that 300 to 5.56 which is really nice. With that being said, this is the patrol, this is the full length version. You can also get this in a SBR, short barrel rifle configuration, and with a PSP, your pistol stabilizing brace on the tail end, which is nice and a nice compact package. What we've got on the, MB, uh, on the MCX is you've got some user configura uh, configurability. So you can throw one of our uh, suppressors on the end of this with the taper design, and this is a heavy taper barrel, by the way, which is extremely accurate. Our cans are going to mate up there real nice. And right here, I've got an increased window size right there so I can get them right there for adjustability from suppressed to unsuppressed. This handguard feels real nice, and we've got M-Lock compatibility. All your lights, lasers, whip antennas, whatever you want to throw on this rifle, rifle is absolutely ready to go out of box. And let's just discuss shootability. I kind of talked about the trigger on this gun, and that trigger really makes it. What a smooth trigger. But if you've never fired an MCX, it's a unique experience. This is actually the perfect rifle. It's You don't really get that, that clunky feel. It's not a snappy feel when you shoot it. Just a very, very smooth rifle. Staying on target, getting on target quick, quick follow-up shots combined with that trigger. What a dream to shoot this rifle. That is the SIG MCX Virtus. Like I said, you've got multiple configurations for this particular rifle. You need to get your hands on one and get out there to the range. I'm here with Daniel Defense, and today I'm very excited to talk about the DDM4A1. The M4A1 is renowned for its durability and its utilization throughout the special operations community over the last 10 years. The DDM4A1 rifle was designed to withstand the harshest conditions that an end user could throw at it. This is the reason Special Operations Command chose this rifle as its duty rifle. This rifle ships standard with a 14 and a half inch pinned and welded barrel with an extended flash hider, making the overall length of the barrel 16 inches and therefore not an NFA item. The gun also ships with our RIS-2 rail system. In this configuration, you're seeing it in flat dark earth, but you can also get it in black, and then you can also get the entire rifle in mil-spec plus. The reason the RIS-2 is so reliable and durable is number one, it's very, very robustly built. It's a larger rail system than the rest of our lineup, and it has a much more robust bolt-up system in the back of the rifle. The rifle is also gonna ship with our Dang of the Fence rail panels, which make for a very comfortable feel on those Picatinny rail sections. Much like the other rifles that we have in our lineup, they're all going to ship with an ambidextrous selector lever. This particular rifle is gonna ship with a mil-spec trigger and our new Dang of the Fence grip and rip ambidextrous charging handle. I can guarantee you, if you give this weapon a chance, you will not be disappointed in the reliability.
to Eugene Stoner and his direct impingement design, Barrett is proud to produce the Rec 7 DI, a lightweight, modular, accurate AR that even the most die-hard traditionalist can appreciate. Featuring an optimized gas system for reliable operation with or without a suppressor, with your choice of matched grade stainless or chrome-lined barrels, the Rec 7 DI is truly a pleasure to shoot. The upper and lower receivers are forged from 7075 T6 aluminum, mil-spec T3 hard coat anodized for durability, and finished with Cerakote for a perfect color match. The Rec 7 DI is available in 5.56 NATO, 6.8 SPC, and 300 blackout. Thank you. 